I didn't like the idea of having to do the same thing over and over and over again. And the cool thing about being a voice actor, especially for someone as ADD as I am, is that yes. you get to do something different every day. Like, I, I will sometimes just update my Facebook status every now and then with like, I'm, a, I'm an angry frog. <laughs> Bam. You know, I am, uh, let's see, I'm a bitter, uh, and I, I'm a goofy, uh, high school principal named Nara Nara. Um, I, um, you know, I, I'm this or that. I get to be everything all week, and it's really that's the coolest thing about the job because I never really know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Like, um, I went in for a game the other day, and the, it was a huge script. But what was cool about it is that they said we don't. Here's the script, but we don't want to use any English voice in it. We just want kind of a gibberish language. So we need you to take the script, read all the lines, but you can't you can't read them in English. Just kind of make up whatever like whatever gibberish you want to. And it was so just don't like, actually read these lines. Uh, well, I kind of had to read them. See, like what I would end up doing was I would scan because it's hard for you to kind of go, all right, I if if you're trying to make up a language, oftentimes you'll get caught up in what am I trying to say and forget that you're using the same consonant over and over again. And like, low, 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 which sounds really weird. Uh, but what I would do is read, read the sentence of what I was supposed to be saying and then scan the sentence, the sentence below it for what consonants I wanted to use. Like I would sort of make gibberish out of the following sentence for what I was supposed to say. Anyway, um... Let's see. Another question. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, wow, there's a lot. I love your hair. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was just curious. You said you're always really, really, really angry when you do Jay's voice, for instance, and it would happen when you do Zoro's voice. How do you feel when doing, say, Zoro's voice with some of your other characters? Um, wow, that's a good question. Like, Zoro, working on One Piece makes you feel really good when you leave, actually. Even though Zoro, like, doesn't always isn't always in the best of mood he's always like frustrated at something that loopy's done the best thing about um one piece is that show is absolutely 100 percent unbridled enthusiasm like people are just doing like doing something that we wouldn't get up every day and do and just do it over and over and over again no matter what for the sake of either being the best at something or you know trying to fulfill some task that they said they were going to you know, complete, and I think that's really neat. Uh, that's that's a really cool thing about working on that show. That's a really neat show. It's just really long, and it's hard yeah. to keep up with. Because mm -hmm. uh, I, admittedly, I, I we work a lot, and if we were able, if we had to watch all the shows we were on, we wouldn't. I don't even think there's enough time in the day, even without sleep, to watch <laughs> all these shows. So we kind of have to depend a lot on the directors. And with people like Zorro, I end up playing like Kikucho in. Um, Seven Samurai, yeah. Uh, yeah. Samurai Seven or whatever. Uh, it was they, a lot of these characters I play are kind of at, like they're either sidekicks or tough guys who don't want to be part of the storyline, so you don't always get the full story on it. So, yeah, that's an awesome show. Good question too, by the way. I thought you were going to say, "How do I feel when I voice Ayami?" Though I'm like, I don't kiss dudes when I'm. <laughs> oh, Maybe I give him a long hug though. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, over there with the sword, please. <laughs> Props always work, by the way. How exactly did you manage to get the role, get the role for Captain Smiley and Star? That was pretty easy because I cast that one. Um, <laughs> no. Admittedly. Um, <laughs> Do you guys know of Comic Jumper? Have you guys heard of this yet? It's an Xbox Live download game. If you haven't played it, it is really ridiculously funny and inappropriate and rude and ridiculous. Uh, but the reason why I did that role actually is for a couple of reasons. One, I really, really wanted to do it. B, I had worked with the, that company, Twisted Pixel, since their first game. They released a game called The Maw. And then they released a game called uh, Splosion Man. Yes! And you guys know that Sonny Strait is the voice of Splosion Man? The voice of Krillin is the voice of Splosion Man? Yeah, there you go. There, there's some trivia for you. Um, but we, I worked with them in those two prior games, and then when this one came up, the owner was like, I think you should do, I think you should do these voices. I'm like, well, yeah, if I have the ability to cast myself, then I will do that. Um, and it was really, really fun. Some of it was also for for budget reasons too, because that game, 
it has its problems when you play through it. It's repetitive sometimes, and it's a little like ridiculously stupid hard sometimes, um, to the point where you want to punch yourself in the face um, <laughs> and scream, and then put like yeah, like Change toothpicks your under your toenails, and then kick up against a wall really hard, and then uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, I didn't need to go there. I'm really sorry. Um, don't try that at home. Uh, I do not encourage that as repeatable violence. Um, and don't kiss 13 year olds and don't shoot small children with guns. That's what you're going to learn today. What was I even talking about? Comic don't Jumper. scream. Yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it was a really, really fun show to be on. And it, because of the budget, they wanted to put a lot of voice in it. And those two characters talk so much. It just made more sense for one person to play both those guys. <laughs> and then that allowed us to be able to put like as much voice as possible into the game. Because you'll notice there's, there's probably four hours of straight voice back to back in that game if you if you play through the whole thing. It's ridiculous. Highly recommend it. Thanks for bringing that up. Do you have another question? Uh, yes, yeah, so this is within the context of the game itself. The, the, the part where you jump back into the Soul Rage and there's all the sensors, did you actually have to say those words or did you just make something up? <laughs> which, which one was that? The, um, Oh, every time the, the comic obscenity commission would stop, like, uh, oh yeah, I said them all just for fun. <laughs> there's a part in the game, what he's saying is that there's a part in the game where they, you jump back into a comic book from the Silver Age of comics where uh, it was a really weird time in comic books where they could have extremely racist characters, but at the same time they were trying to protect America's youth from the horrible things that were in comic books. So you couldn't use any obscenities, you couldn't do any any sort of like even anything remotely uh, obscene. You couldn't punch a police officer or like they, like they had these weird rules that, police, that uh, superheroes had to follow in those comic books. So we made it so that these guys jump back in and he would, they were just swearing constantly, but the whole, every time they would swear, it's just covered up with a large like, fine, you're fine, you're fine. You could never hear what he was saying. So I think that's what he was saying. But thanks for bringing that up. I love talking about that game. Uh, Chainsaw. Sorry, props work really well. Renting this out, 50 cents. When you were voicing Ayama, did you ever get the script and just go, I have to say what? Because that monologue Ayama goes into back in the flashback about his hair. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's shimmering lights and kingdoms and all this really loud voice crap. Did you ever just go, I have to say what? Oh, yeah, the minute I got the part. And, <laughs> 